We are back now with the beloved Magnolia Bakery, famous for churning out tasty cupcakes and other treats right out of their hot ovens, and now turning to ultraviolet light to help keep customers and workers safe from coronavirus. Here's ABC's Sarah Haynes. Magnolia Bakery has always been a business that we're small, our stores are small, there's a lot of people coming in the door. As the nation begins its road to recovery, local hotspot Magnolia Bakery has been cooking up ways to safely reopen. Very early on in the pandemic, everyone had to start adopting new procedures, uh, especially for social distancing. And restaurants all experience the same thing. You have small kitchens in New York City, your staff is working side by side. With both summer and sweet tooth cravings setting in, owner Bobby was anticipating that change. When the pandemic first started, we immediately implemented all the procedures that were recommended by CDC, even before it was mandated by city and state. But their biggest adjustment involved Bobby and her husband setting up a familiar looking device called the portal. How did you find this portal? So my husband has a few autoimmune diseases, um, and so he's always been sort of on top of research to find out what's going on. And he started researching UV lighting. Similar in looks to the metal detectors you'd see in airports, the portal uses a UVC light that is safe on skin, yet strong enough to kill harmful viruses and bacteria. The UVC light's been around for a long time, but this is a concept of far UVC lighting, which is not dangerous to your skin, but it will kill bacteria and pathogens and viruses. So it's perfect for the pandemic that we're in. So I step in and I do five seconds and I rotate. I don't even hear anything or see anything, but it's working. I come through and I'm done, completely clean. By bringing that light technique from her home into her sweet treats bakeries, she hopes customers will feel even safer when they drop in. By going through our portal, we add another level of assurance that we're not bringing a pathogen into the store. And our staff has a level of comfort knowing that we're doing everything we possibly can to keep them safe. With that combination of heightened safety and portal curiosity, Bobby hopes customers will continue to satisfy their sweet tooth at Magnolia Bakery for years to come. We're not requiring people to walk through it. We're recommending they walk through it. I actually have a feeling that people will come in off the street and want to do it just because. And our thanks to Sarah Haynes for that. Magnolia Bakery there in New York City with that cutting edge approach to fighting the virus. But how does this technology actually work? Well, with us now to tell us all about it is Fred Maxick, founder and CSO of Healthy, the company behind this new UV light technology. So, Fred, thank you for being with us. In simple terms, how does this work? Thank you. And um, this is this is a new form of, of a UVC light. Uh, we've known for decades that UVC light can uh, disable or inactivate uh, these, these pathogens we're concerned about. Uh, this has that same ability. Essentially, the, the light disrupts the, the material that makes these viruses and bacteria uh, capable of replicating. And by disrupting that, they, uh, they're, they're inactivated and no longer able to, to infect us. All right. So how do you know it's working and how do we know it's safe? There has been an amazing amount of studies over the past decades looking at how UVC light uh, inactivates, deactivates these, these types of pathogens, and they're, they're very conclusive. Um, there's a, some wonderful work uh, out of Columbia University. Dr. David Brenner there uh, has actually worked with um, uh, coronaviruses and shown that this form of UVC light is capable of, of inactivating those viruses. So the, 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 the evidence is very clear. Um, there's also studies on multiple continents over multiple years showing that this light specifically does not penetrate the human skin or the human eyes. And they, in all these studies, they show uh, an abundance of material that says uh, this is completely safe uh, for us to be in the same area. What about bringing the system into our homes? Is that a possibility? It, it, there is possibilities, but there are also other pieces we make. So the portal we view as being part of, of actually even a larger system uh, that has uh, downlight components, um, you know, something like this that simply plugs into a, a downlight and can be put into a standard uh, socket uh, are things that have the same type of far UVC that the portal does, but can be brought into more residential possibilities, can be brought into more office possibilities. Um, so it gives us a lot of flexibility as to where it goes. We're also very concerned with the air in our, in our environment. So the downlights and, and, and truffers that we also manufacture uh, deal with that air in real time and, and take those pathogens out of that space and out of the air. Wow, well, much needed. Cutting edge technology. Fred Maxick, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us and explaining it to us today. Thank you so much.